Michigan cornerback Mike Sanders still started his career at receiver, but eventually switched positions and flourished into becoming a top defensive back in the country. But how does he project for the NFL? We'll find out on this Two Minute Drill. Sanders Stills' receiving history is easy to notice as he consistently flashes impressive instincts that routinely allow him to find the ball in the air and convert on those opportunities with an impressive six interceptions on the season. His quick footwork and acceleration allow him to mirror assignments well even when working against speed to limit separation and stick on the hip of the assignment, but then his burst allowed him to break on the throw and disrupt any chance at the completion. With the Wolverine, Sanders still rotated around the secondary, working both in the slot and out on the boundary, and despite his smaller stature, it looked more than competent even when working against other NFL prospects. What's most impressive for Sanders still is just how quick he is to break down Hill, and when it came to crashing on the football, he did so efficiently and menacingly. He used his mix of acceleration, burst, and willingness as a tackler to routinely light up the ball carrier and put a stop to the play before it could develop into a big game. He has a natural magnetism to the football that makes him easy to find and notice on tape while not being the reason for the other team's production very often. For concerns in his game, Sanders still does have a smaller stature that may limit him inside at the next level, and when going against bigger slot receivers, he plays a little loose, so quality route running could get him in trouble against those matchups. Additionally, he can have an issue of play strength when not able to work downhill and generate force, and struggle to bring down players who boast a larger frame as a result and give up additional yardage. For a pro comparison, Sanders still reminds me of Jonathan Jones of the New England Patriots. Jones was one of the top slot defenders in the NFL, but has been moved around at safety and boundary corner out of necessity and remained effective. For Sanders still, I'm not sure if he's ever going to be tasked with moving out of the slot, but has a skill set and flashes to where I think he could still remain productive at the next level. For a draft range, I think Sanders still is selected sometime on day two and lean toward the second round, which should be solidified with how I assume he performs around the combine. Thanks to his instincts, his ball production will allow him to make plays for a defense out of the gates, and I think he's a plug-and-play slot starter from day one. NFL teams will be looking this offseason for a secondary chess piece that can step into their defense, create turnovers, and elevate the overall performance. They'll be looking for someone like Mike. And that's the two-minute drill.